Hey everyone, so this is the third video in today's series on using the Jane Davenport and Spellbinders Making Faces goodies. Make sure you check out the previous two videos as well as my unboxing and swatching videos so you can see how I made all these pieces and what I actually got to play with. So this I have to say is probably one of the most fun parts for me in this process and it's using these colored pages that I made and kind of going through my journals which are actually I think I would have considered these journals finished but you can always adjust and play and add more um, elements into your journals. So this was really fun just flipping through the pages, enjoying uh, looking at my uh, journals and then deciding which page worked best for um, the images that I wanted to add. So I'm going to um, add a couple of these as kind of tippings, just, you know, washi tape them into my journal. And then I'm going to just glue a few others, but you will see everything in the video. So you can see that the colors um, were working really well for me with that first piece. And I just thought it was the perfect page. I had the image on the left side and then on the right side, there was just, you know, paint, not a lot going on. So I thought it would be nice. Then I found this uh, page in another journal and it had like these um, softer colors that I was just playing with. So I felt like this image of this girl, uh, which I colored in very, very soft colors, is almost a minimalistic uh, page, I would say. Uh, I thought it looked nice there. And of course, I didn't do anything here with the backside of these, but of course you can add more art, more coloring, more, uh, you can stick more stuff on there. You can do some journaling and it's kind of hidden then. So whatever your heart desires, you can do that. And I'm just playing with some of the washi tape. I think uh, all of it that I used here, most of it is uh, Jane Davenport washi from previous releases. She has some beautiful uh, images um, like eyes and noses and mouths and then um, just some colors and also these white washies with these illustrations that you can actually uh, paint. But uh, here I, I don't think I painted them. So I also used one of these um, pieces of paper that I actually swatched the pastel palette on and I just punched a tab out of it. I love adding tabs to my journal. I plan on doing it pretty much I think on every journal from here on to eternity because I love having those little pops of color uh, peeking through my journals and I think it makes them uh, very inviting. So one of the things that I like to do, I think it adds um, a more finished look to my pages is create a frame. And I didn't film the whole process in the previous uh, page, but you will see me doing this several times here. So another option is to fussy cut your images. You know, whether you're using uh, Jane's uh, art, so her pages that she gives us the outline and we can just color them in or whether you're drawing your own faces or using a stencil or whatever, you can kind of fussy cut it once you're done and use it like this. So this obviously makes for a more interesting composition and I just love the detail of it. And you know, you can take a pretty basic background like I did here. I just had these watercolor circles while I find them very, very beautiful. Um, there's definitely something more interesting going on now with that uh, image added. And of course, you can still go on working on these pages, add some more colors, shadows, details, whatever you want. So um, now I'm moving on to fussy cutting this pretty lady. And I thought about adding her here, but I'm going to add her to this page. Hello. 
that was Ella, of course, saying hi to you. <laughs> so I decided this page uh, looked really nice with this girl. You can see I'm just adding some glue. And of course, you can use whatever adhesive you like. And I'm just going to stick her right in there. And it just, honestly, I, I liked the pages in this journal before I added these uh, lovely ladies. But it adds so so much and i'm so happy about how this turned out so now i'm adding that frame that i told you about and here i'm using a thinner a pen because the um, lines in the artwork are kind of more delicate so i thought that would look a bit better but in other pages i'm going to add even more definition and i'm going to use the beautiful quill pen that I'm absolutely in love with. Well, we'll see it coming uh, soon. So just adding some uh, frame here, it really gives it a more finished look in my opinion. And now I'm just adding some scribbles, a tiny, tiny detail that probably nobody notices. But um, I wanted kind of to echo the some of these lines in the artwork. Uh, because Jane has some shadows there that she scribbles with a pen. So I wanted to bring that detail to the page. And I'm doing exactly the same thing here on the circles. Just making that connection, that repetition of the artwork that I added and the background that I had uh, already. Um, that makes the whole thing look more cohesive. So here I have one of the things that I kind of doodled myself. And this girl is, yeah, she's interesting. <laughs> I love how her hair turned out. The face is okay. So I found this really colorful page in my journal. And this was actually when I got the mermaid markers, uh, which are one of my most favorite products that Jane ever created. And I tested all the colors and I made this uh, fun color wheel. So... Um, I added my little rainbow girl to this page and I think it works well together with, you know, keeping all the rainbows together. And I just want to add a few pieces from the rest of that uh, piece of paper. You know, I cut my little image out, but I still have a lot left. So just again, to repeat kind of the same elements and make the whole page look more cohesive and not just have this, you know, background with one image glued on top of it. Uh, I'm adding a few more pieces from the same piece of paper and artwork that I had. And just again, to make it kind of belong <laughs> more to the background, I'm just adding just a little bit of color to it. And again, I'm going to use my trusty tab punch. Love that thing. And I'm going to punch some tabs from the scraps that I have left with all those pretty rainbowy colors. And I'm going to add them to my page here. Um, you will see all the photos at the end, the close-up shots of how everything turned out. And I just had so much fun with, um, I think especially this part of the process. I mean, I obviously enjoy the whole thing. I enjoy art journaling and coloring and adding all the shadows and details and everything. But this is kind of really, really fun because it's building on something that you already like and kind of just taking it to the next level. So here I'm using the quill pen. Um, the lines in my artwork are already kind of thick because I used this pen to quickly uh, sketch them. So it it works, it makes more sense to also add it for this frame. And you can see it's so easy to get this thicker lines, super black with this pen. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely picking up some backups now that I'm going <laughs> to, um, to the US. So I'm going to hit all the Michael stores in the area where I'm at and <laughs> hunt down these pens. I absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite, favorite items in the goodies that I've 
uh, played with. So I'm making this frame a little bit more chunky than the one before, adding some lines and then um, kind of going around the edge. It really helps everything kind of pop, look more just kind of framed. It really keeps your eye in the page and um, doesn't kind of let it wander out of it. And yeah, so it's a very nice detail to add to your work. And of course, you can add more words and journaling. I would probably probably add some phrase stickers here. And I, I really find words and handwriting add a lot. So that would um, let that would really make this kind of a finished piece to me. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of piece of a little bit of piece, a small piece of that uh, washi tape that I was mentioning with those illustrations of art supplies. And I'm fussy cutting a little brush and just sticking it onto that tab. And I'm going to call this done. So let's take a look at the pages I created adding the artwork. I had so much fun. I hope you feel inspired by this series to play with the Making Faces goodies. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.